Hey guys, it's Trish. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have a Dior haul and this is from the Dior 50% off sale and I got two items so I'm very excited to show you guys what I got and please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new here and also follow me on Instagram at Tristan and use my hashtag CDRholics if you want to share any photos with me, your latest purchases, anything you want and yeah, I will come like and comment on your photo and without further ado, let's get started with today's video. Okay, so I got these two items from the Dior 50% off sale and I was so excited because 50% off on ready to wear is just amazing. I mean, it's still like expensive, but it's nice that it's half off. So for the sale, it was, it started at my boutique about two weeks ago and they had ready to wear, uh, fashion jewelry, some shoes, um, some men's items, like keychains, um, trying to think, oh, there were hats, there were women's hats, um, but I ended up only getting two ready to wear items. So. This, my first, the first item is in this uh, Dior envelope here, and this is what it looks like, it's super thin. So I'm just going to take it out of the envelope, and this is my first sweater. So yeah, this is the first sweater that I purchased, and it is so, so gorgeous. So, there were, I got two sweaters, that's the second item that I got. And this first sweater, I liked it a lot because it's a uh, gradient, like ombre. It's kind of like a green, a light green, kind of like the handbag that I just purchased. And then a pink on the bottom. So it is so, so pretty. I really like this one because it matches with my new handbag that I got. So of course, if I wear this sweater, I'm definitely going to wear it with my new handbag. And let's just go into what the material is first. So in the tag on the inside of the sweater, it says 100% cashmere and 100% cotton. So that means the sweater itself is 100% cashmere, but the embroidery, the stitching, the threading is 100% cotton. And yeah, that is what that. And I love that the back has the B and the little CD logo right here. Even though my hair is most likely going to be covering it, but I do love that it has that in the back. And now with the front. So this sweater is in French. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but in English it's um, Utopian Garden. And I just love that name. So I'm going to read the description online. It says, the Utopian Garden Sweater showcases Mr. Dior's passion for gardens and rose bushes. Crafted from grated cashmere, its embroidery depicts a country garden where several varieties of flowers intertwine. So on this sweater, it has a bunch of flowers that are intertwined. It's just so gorgeous. Look at all the details. Just wow. And, oh, I just noticed that the sweater, if you look in the back, so the front is longer than the back you see on the bottom and then continuing with the description it says featuring ribbed details that pair well with denim this sweater will give any look the right touch of color and I am super super excited to wear this sweater out it's so gorgeous I get to wear it with my brand new my ABC Dior if you guys haven't seen that video yet I will link it down below in the description box and yeah, this is the first sweater. So this sweater is actually very thin. You can wear it like today. Like right now, I'm wearing this tweed jacket. And even though the weather is like right now about 80, no, 85 to 100 degrees in Vegas, today isn't as hot as other days. But I don't mind wearing sweaters because this one, first of all, it's pretty thin. And second of all, I love wearing sweaters, long sleeve jackets. Um, yeah, I just love winter style. I don't mind wearing winter clothes during the summer. So yeah, I I would wear this any season, honestly. And I love that it's thin, so if it's like really hot, I won't get too hot. And yeah, that is the first item I got from the Dior sale. And now moving on to the second and final item, which is in the same envelope. And this is another ready to wear, which is a sweater. So this sweater is actually my favorite sweater that I got from the sale. It's, oh, it's, 
is my favorite because it has my favorite shape on it, which is a star. Yay, I love this has to be my favorite Dior sweater, even though I have the Toile de Gris, which is the animal print one. But this one, I, I just love stars so much, and it's blue. I love the color blue, and oh, I, I am in love with this sweater. So let me talk about... So first of all, this sweater is also thin. It's kind of the same material as the first sweater. So the materials in this one is... 92% cashmere, 8% silk, and 100% cotton. So same thing, this one is silk and cashmere, but the embroidery is cotton. And then the bottom of the sweater, it has a little word which says le toile, which I'm ho hopefully I'm pronouncing it right. It means the star. And then in the back of the sweater, it says 17. So Mr. Dior, he actually believes in like superstition and good luck charms and the number 17 is actually from the tarot card which is the star and it's just amazing there's like a whole story on these tarot cards and he's always visiting these fortune tellers and I just think it's amazing his story um, so let me just read you guys about it really quick so the star sweater is inspired by Christian Dior's superstition he always went to fortune tellers and the number 17 represents the number of the tarot card deck and the number 17 is the star card. Um, also, the star is one of his lucky charms that he always carries with him in his pocket because he believed it brought him good luck. And there's like a whole story on that. I will link it in the description box if you want to read the story about um, his superstitions and why the star is his lucky charm. And I just think this sweater is so amazing. It, the star is so meaningful to Dior. And I just love that. And I personally love stars myself. And yeah, I, I am in love with this sweater. I have a beautiful outfit to go with this sweater that I'm so excited to show you guys eventually when I go out. So I thought I would read you guys a story that I found online about Dior's superstitions and signs. And before I start reading the story, I am just going to say that I am going to butcher a lot of words and names because it's in French and I do not know French. So yeah, I am going to mess up a lot and I'm going to try my best to pronounce some words. And yeah, let's just begin with the story. This section is titled Signs and Superstition, Chants at the Heart of Dior. Everything is a sign. Everything makes sense. Christian Dior believed in his fabulous destiny and his lucky star, like on that evening of 18 April 1946. He was 41 years old and working at Lucien Lelong. The next day, he had a meeting with Marcel Buzak, the most famous of the post-war industrialists. The king of cotton, as he was known, wanted to invite Christian Dior to become the artistic director of the fashion house Philippe et Gaston. Christian Dior was unsure. He felt that the decision was important because three times already, chance had pointed him towards the fabulous destiny that awaited him. It was a childhood friend, George Vigoreau, whom he encountered three consecutive times on the streets of Paris who knew Marcel Buzak and was trying to convince Dior to embrace his future. But what for? Was doubtless the question in mind of the man who did not yet realize the magnitude of what he was to bring to Haute Couture, woman in France's position abroad. Fortune tellers were to accompany him throughout his life, allowing him to ease his heavy heart, continue to hope and live, or simply make decisive career choices. One of his most faithful supporters, his fortune teller, Madame Dallahay, relentlessly predicted the return of his beloved sister, Catherine, who had been deported between June 1944 and May 1945. The vision proved the resigned and the pessimistic wrong, and his younger sister did not share the tragic fate of millions of men and women. The young member of the French resistance was liberated from the Ravensbrück camp at the end of the war. It was the same fortune teller who helped him to take a decision that was to completely change the course of his life and that of fashion. Like I said earlier about my sweater, it had the star right in the middle. And as you can see in, in all of his other products, there's always a bunch of stars like this Mitzah scarf. There's stars all over it. And even under the sneakers, there's a star. And then this fashion jewelry earring is a star with crystals and pearls. And even in this makeup, Dior makeup, there are stars on the little compact highlighter. 
And I just want to say a late happy 4th of July. Yesterday was 4th of July and my cousins came over. We had barbecue and we just swam the whole day. It was very fun. And yeah, I thought I'd just show you guys some of our food that we ate. And, and I dressed up to take some pictures. And yeah, happy 4th of July. And that was the end of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. And please don't forget to use my hashtag CDRholics. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!